Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and while I haven't been playing Minecraft Bingo recently, I have been working on it a whole lot, working on the next version that I guess will probably be Minecraft Bingo version 3.0, since I'm rewriting everything from scratch, but I wanted to go ahead and show off a little bit of the work that I've done, um, and so here is just like the bare bones of a lobby. And we have a bingo card where some of the colors aren't right, but don't worry about that. And yeah, I can seed the cards and card generation is now super fast. And so for example, if I click here and go 6112 to generate that card, bloop, the card has been generated. It only takes a couple of seconds in order to do, um, but I can do that for any card I want. Uh, and so I could do card 6113 and just that fast uh, it goes ahead and makes a new card so that is really cool that that goes nice and fast and I also can then start the game and parts of this work a lot of it still doesn't work um, but basically it'll teleport me out to a particular spawn point in the world uh, that is certain multiples of 10,000 and put the box in the air and drop the armor stands. I've also got a lot of debugging output happening in the chat that basically I'm trying to figure out when you generate new terrain, the game lags up a bit, and so I'm trying to understand it. Start go. I uh, put a little pillar there because I think I was spawning on top of a flower, and I could go. And if I were to get, for example, a piece of gunpowder, which is the first item on the card, I uh, got an item. And if I were to drop my map, it'll teleport me back and update the map. And so that works, and so that's great. And let's see, it doesn't check for bingos and different things. So if I get a bunch of the items five in a row, it's not going to check for that yet. But in any case, I have some bare bones kind of stuff working. And with the way the new command blocks are easier to program and with the new kind of strategies that I've been using to program them. Specifically, I'm writing code that goes and puts all these command blocks in the world, rather than the way that I did the previous version of Bingo, which is I hand placed all of the command blocks in the world. Um, and so that's making things a lot easier. But we have, yeah, a fair bit of things working. And it's giving me the fact that it's so much easier to program now. It's giving me a lot more time to kind of focus on the performance in order to be able to do things like get the card generation going as fast as it is so that I can go and just try to generate a new card and zoom, 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 zoom. It's nice and fast. And let's see, are there other things that are going to go nice and fast as well? Probably, hopefully, maybe. Um, so hopefully... This will be good when the time comes. Uh, it's still got a long ways to go, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. I guess I'll show off. I showed this off in a live stream the other day. You can always follow me on Twitter or on Twitch uh, if you want to find out about live streams. But basically, uh, ignore the aesthetics, but just in terms of like the shape and functionality of the lobby, I'm imagining having three rooms. There is a main room in here where you can seed the card or generate random cards and start the game, as well as join teams. There'll probably maybe be four team colors rather than just two, so you could play on up to four different teams if you wanted. There is advanced configuration for the game over in a separate room, so things like lockout mode would be in here. Uh, the different default loadouts, so like starting the game with night vision all the time, or just playing, you know, vanilla, torches, torches, torches style, or some other crazy things. Might have a bunch of different sign buttons over here where you can, you know, start off with, you know, jump boost, or a saddled horse, or, you know, different kinds of crazy things at the beginning of the game. As well as functionality here where you can configure it yourself. So if you wanted to come up with your own, you know, game design, I want to play in UHC mode with no natural regen and absorption turned on and different kinds of things. You could program it up yourself uh, by adding a few command blocks over here. But some of the interesting, you know, basic configurations, we put some defaults on the wall over here that you could just click if you wanted to load them up. Um, but yeah, for just kind of like basic vanilla seated game or whatever, you could just do everything from just this room. And then over here, uh, this will probably be where you teleport back at the end of the game, where there's uh, my head, 
um, where people often drop things off and make an offering. And so I have offering over here, the donation button, the information about what version of the map you're playing, the button where you can right click on it in order to show the items and all the items appear in the chest. And then player heads, where I thank all the people who helped me kind of debug and test versions of Minecraft Bingo would be over there. And so basically it makes it so that this is kind of the main play area. And for basic stuff, you can go over here. If you want advanced game configuration, you can go over here and kind of everything else is over here. And as a result, for especially for new people who are just trying to learn how to play bingo, it's like you join a team, you generate a card, and you start the game. And those are the only, you know, buttons. And they're not buttons anymore. Now they're signs. You can right-click signs and, you know, do the usual stuff. And... I guess that's it for now. I don't know. I've been spending many hours a day programming this for the last couple of weeks, and it's definitely coming along, but I'm sure there's a lot more to go, and as I get it further along, I'll try to uh, invite some more people to test things out. But I just wanted to give you guys an update, so I will just say that I hope, as always, you guys are having a great day, and I will see you, see you again soon with more Minecraft Bingo development. Bye-bye.